Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We got our two special guests today. Me and you. Me! <laughs> we're, uh, we're in uh, Taylor Forkliftville today. Yeah. We're working on old ones and new ones. Restoration. Restoration. So this is our big Mo forklift. You guys have seen it run around. This is not one I bought at auction. I've had this one for se several years. Some people I think got this dude confused. But uh, Randy's been saying on it. Kevin's been back here doing some body work, making all this look pretty. So, you guys don't know, we went to uh, Louisville, Mississippi a couple months ago, didn't we? We visited the uh, Taylor forklift uh, factory, mm -hmm. toured all those factories, the parts depot. Super nice people. I was very impressed. We went through a one day training period <laughs> we did. on how to do this. And they also took us on a little hunting trip, too. It was pretty fun. Yeah. So. But I was very impressed with their operation. It's all American-made stuff going on. Um, the cool thing was, we went to the parts distribution center. Mm -hmm. I just thought we was going to walk in there and see a bunch of parts. No, no. So we walk in there. The first thing you see is all these CNC machines running. And then there's, what, welders welding up stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a full transmission rebuild shop in there. And then you got your parts. Mm -hmm. So they're actually manufacturing a lot of their stuff. Um, their big thing is they're keeping these machines running, so keeping parts in stock and uh, supporting these dudes, so that's key. So, And they've got, uh, I'll throw some clips in here. We even toured their Southern Service Facility, which is where they keep up with all the maintenance and stuff. They've got, I think, what was it, 2018 or newer machines. They're all live on a board on this big screen here you guys can see. They keep track of everything, whether it's got check engine lights, it needs serviced, all that kind of stuff, and they can diagnose a lot of that stuff before it... Uh, before they send a service truck out or something like that. But uh, we've done a little work to this forklift here. We rebuilt the uh, mass cylinders. Actually sent us off and had them rebuilt. Uh, the chrome was bad on those. Um, we rebuilt the side shift cylinders, tilt, tilt cylinders, steering cylinders. Um, so this thing should be good to go. You guys know the transmission is very strong in it because we're always doing stuff we shouldn't, like shoving dozers in the shop and pulling 850s in. And if this has a Cummins, uh, 5.912 valve motor in it super simple there's no electronics on this dude to speak of no computers no nothing so she's just plain and simple this is what a 30,000 pound one i believe i think so i'm not saying i might have picked up more than that a couple times so but uh, anyway <laughs> we've developed a relationship with taylor so we actually have a new a little 5,000 pound forklift we're going to start using in the shop here so we got to go pick it up here in a little bit ordered it back a few months ago but it's uh going to be pumac tires it's got sliding forks kind of like this big one hydraulic sliding but it's all set up so we're going to try to start using it in the forklift or using it in the shop as a forklift in there get something a little newer working around so you ready to go get it yeah all right this one still doesn't look new yet yeah well I think it will by the end of this video maybe are you that quick oh yeah all right, made it up here to Indy to the uh, Taylor Indianapolis headquarters, I guess. Okay. We'll go inside and see what they got for us. <laughs> All right, we're inside. What'd you find, bud? GT50. GT50. Yeah. What do you think about it? She's a dandy. Did you pop the hood on it yet? Maybe. I hear it's got one of those hair dryers on it. <laughs> Oh, look at it. What'd you now? That's the biggest hair dryer I ever did see. It's a baby. It'll be okay. One day you'll grow up, little baby. So we've got a 5,000 pound GT50 Taylor forklift now in our arsenal. Guys set it up with some pneumatic tires. We've got it loaded up. We've got um, sliding forks, side shift, Zuzu turbo diesel. Look at this sweet exhaust stack on here. You can thank Randy to tear that off there. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. It's looking pretty sharp. Yeah. It almost looks um, kind of like the one you're getting ready to paint. Huh. Or did you already paint it? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Well, are you going to be the first one to break it in? Anybody in they, they all left. That's good. You got to put your seatbelt on for safety no, first. No, I don't. I don't believe in safety. You got an air ride seat there, bud. That's, That's pretty right. fancy. It's awful quiet. Too slow to school. 
How's forks work? Whoa. That's pretty fast, ain't it? I said the brakes are a little touchy. That's not my truck. Nice, ain't it? Oh, somebody's been using it. It's oh, got 1.7 hours on it. This is used. What's the use price? Venture wipers? Venture wipers. Yeah. Let's get that going. Don't break it. Oh, it's still under warranty. You can break it yet. <laughs> got some headlights? Got all kind of lights, bud. That's it. Right. Pretty nice. That's nice right there. They go all the way together too. Yeah. I like it, I like it. Yeah. I see a bigger one over there. You know what we could do with these holes here? What's that? Build us a chain box. Oh. Mount it right there. What do you think? I like it. Pretty nice, ain't it? I've never had something new. Me neither. Equipment wise. <laughs> Especially not a forklift. Yeah. He's going to put the first scratch in it. I don't know. I wish you had some fold over ramp. It's a lot fun. Yeah. Yeah, send it, bud. There you go. Look at all that power. Oh, horsey. Are you getting centered up a little better? Yeah. All right, we're loaded up, chained up. Gonna head back down to the shop. Are you ready? Who, me? So we've had the forklift here for a couple days now, been running around, everybody seems to really like it. It's uh, nice having a new forklift. I've never had a new one. I was talking to the guys earlier. I think everything I've had's always had eight, nine, ten thousand hours on or more. So this Toyota forklift's been a very good one, still is. It's uh, clicked over a little 11,000 hours or so now. Um, I bought it used like six years ago, but it's got the little Toyota diesel on it. But it's also a 5,000 pound fork truck. But nice thing about this, um, Taylor, it's like uh, seven or eight inches shorter in the same frame. So I'm gonna be curious if it does, you know, lift and all the big stuff that we need to do, but uh, I'm sure it will. The nice thing about this one, it has those sliding forks on the front of it, but uh, we are gonna put this one up for sale. So you guys are looking for a good diesel forklift with Pumac tires. Um, go check out our website if it's still around by the time this video comes out. But uh, we're gonna do a few little touches to this. You guys always know we put uh, holes in the end of the forks. Um, we got to do that to this one and also going to build a uh, chain rack to keep all of our straps and all that stuff on here I think we'll build a basket. So we've got all this crap over here. We're going to stick on there. So we'll get after it here 
But I don't think it's supposed to be black and gray and footprinty. Mr. Kevin's painted the uh, black on the old Taylor forklift here. We can't see it. Oh, sorry. Now you, get the, now you get to paint the shiny red color, don't you? Looking good. There's a lot of wrapping up on this dude. So we're going to tell everybody why you painted the black first. I know why. Because I like black. That's not because why. It's easier to touch up. So if you painted the red first and painted all this black, this black is just a flat black. You can go back in and touch it up. So if you painted the red first and gets a little bit of black on that nice shiny red, it would be harder to clean up. So that's why he's going to paint the red second. If he gets a little bit of red overspray on this, he can clean that up or touch that up and uh, blend that in real easy. A lot easier than a nice shiny red paint. It's going to be looking good. So here's what we got going on. We got the uh, bottom of the box and three sides cut out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this dude on a press brake here. I'm going to bend probably this side up first and the two sides. And then we got the back here, which is going to bend around this radius. So we will probably bend that by hand. I'm not sure. I might bump it in there and bend it a little bit. But uh, we'll get set up here and get this piece bent. I got this one box bin up there. I think that will work out just fine. And, uh, I need to bend this. I'm hoping I got it long enough too. I don't know if I may bend that, tack it by hand and bend that around there with the clamp probably. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, ended up bending that piece on the old press brake. We won't judge. Did a good job, didn't I? It's almost perfect. We're gonna, I think, tack aside here. Try to walk her around here. What do you think? It's the way to do it. All right, there she all is, welded up. Turned out pretty good. I know it's heavy for one thing. We'll uh, see if she fits over here. I got some other holes in there for drain holes in case it gets water in or something, but this gloves off. Oh yeah. That looks good. It's a radius match in the back of the forklift. Looking snazzy. So my next goal is I'm gonna build a 
rack up here so we can kind of hang some of the uh, chains and stuff that we got up on there and they're not quite so cluttered. But uh, that's gonna work out good. All right, got her all done. We got some square tubing around here. We put some uh, long 5 16 bolts in there. We hang up her chains and stuff. You guys kind of get the idea, keep her chains and bolts. and That way we won't scratch her up, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Kevin's over here painting red on the other one. We might jump in there later on after he gets that done. So it's uh, coming together. All right, it's been a few days or a couple weeks later where we left these people hanging. The forklift is all dirty now. That means we've been using it, right? All right. So here's the chain basket. There's your box of decals. Here's the chain basket got all painted up, mounted on. You guys can see we've been using it. It's been working great. So uh, the old Taylor Little forklift's actually in service right now at the moment. We're uh, doing another video here. We're uh, waiting for some paint to dry, aren't we? That's right. So. Man, this thing looks good, bud. Yeah. I left you uh, last time and you were taping off the black. Oh, well. That's, that's been a couple weeks ago and it's uh, been used and been sitting in here. And so we're waiting on some decals and we've been busy and not got to it. But Taylor sent us a bunch of decals. And you might ask why I didn't have Tucker make them. Well, we just don't sell Taylor forklifts every day and there's something in there. And there wasn't no sense making a decals for a one-off situation, was there? No. So do you remember where all these go? The eagle that goes down here. <laughs> so we're gonna get this thing all beautified up. Um, Kevin's got the red looking sharp back here everywhere. It is a little dirty, like I say, from sitting in here. We'll get her outside in the sunlight here after a bit. And uh, blow your eyes out, bub. yeah, I think we're gonna have to move one of those dead dozers back here anyway. So That's right. blow your eyes out. Right. You think anybody's gonna comment about our different shades of red? No. Nope. Not I, I said it. Color matched it. The bad thing when we picked out this shade of red of paint, we didn't even have that forklift yet. I think we nailed it. But the little forklift, I like it, don't you? Yep. It's uh, we've never had nothing new. So, being in this video, I did a little. We had the Toyota side by side. The Toyota is gone. It's sold already. So if you guys are interested in it, she gone. She's gone. Sorry, but uh, that's how quick stuff's selling right now. The crazy thing was that thing brought over twice what I paid for it six years ago. That's how much stuffs went up. So. Mm. But uh, yeah, the little tailor's been doing good. I like it. The only thing I might say, which is not their fault, I know it's a little bit blind looking through the forks, but that's because of the uh, we got the sliding forks on there. Yeah. But I'd still rather have those any day. Oh yeah. Sometimes you gotta lean your head around a little bit and look around. But uh, she is the fastest thing I've ever drove forklift wise. Have you had it out in the parking lot? No. Oh, you should throttle her up. That turbo okay. kicks in. All right. There's nothing here to keep up with. I'll say that it 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 moves. And the brakes work good too. They're a little touchy yet, but <laughs> they're fresh. You get a load on it. I'm gonna say this one's been in stock a little while. Not too many eagles running around. So Taylor, if you don't know, they make all their own decals down there. That's another reason I let them do it. So I knew I was gonna get something quality, right? That's right. So we took a little tour down there a while back. And there's one guy down there that all he does is make all their decals and stuff. So um, I think they said they were waiting on a couple more or something. I don't know. And one other thing too, if you don't know if you have a Taylor forklift, they will supply you with a free set of safety decals. Not these decals, but all the safety decals. Have you dug into those yet? I don't think so. Maybe we didn't get those yet. <laughs> well, look at that, we got a made in USA Mississippi one. So I'd say that's what we're waiting on, some safety decals. Well, we got the important ones there anyway, didn't we? That's right. So yeah, if you guys have a, a Taylor forklift and your decals are, um, looking a little rough and you need some new uh, safety decals they will supply those at no cost and of course they can get you the regular decals it's pretty cool that they're making that stuff in house i mean like john deere they they farm theirs out so mm -hmm. but uh we need to get a couple of our decals and put on there too don't we that's right all right we'll get after it so i'm sitting here with my friend kevin so i bought all this tread tape at menards yeah yep and it stuck out it looks good uh huh. Yeah. I was just kind of over here looking at uh, that uh, right there. Uh, huh. Well, they can really see it when you zoom in close. Oh, yeah. That's so apparently, you needed, you had to make two out of. Yeah, so I only had a half of one. And that looks like a black Sharpie went in there. What's the matter with you? Huh. I thought the building was getting ready to fall over. It was a bird. Huh. 
So you just took a black sharpie and so, is that what painters do? There's some things that take place from time to time. When to, I'm not here. To lose the eyesight of bright red on a black surface. I just had to point that out. I'm not trying to make fun of you. Sure you are. I mean, I, you went I the extra. I got to go to the bathroom now. You went the extra mile to color it in I too. Because I knew somebody like you would find it. <laughs> I'm always looking for that stuff. Yeah, but you didn't throw away two pieces. You would, most people would say, I need another thing. Nope. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Oh, this is my favorite part. Big Red. Big Red. That's a nickname from the original owner that started the company. Big Red. Big Red Taylor. Made in Mississippi. Where's this one go? Um, probably about right there. Did you take pictures of this before we started? Jay did. I think I might I have wasn't some. here. Oh, really? Huh. Weird, right? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Is that America? What is that, bud? That's bald eagle. Look, it's a crying bald eagle. Crying, got water in it. Also got some CNC equipment stickers going on here, too. So, if you guys need some of those, we got those on our website. Stuck one on the little tailor over here. We also got. Um, Got all these other cool ones too somewhere oh here they are got some little ones the operator my donkey stickers everybody needs some of those so definitely uh check that out there'll be a link down below in the description you can go check those out so get that looking good oh yeah And just like every hillbilly with a diesel, the first thing we do... What happened to my muffler, bud? Ha! That's weird. That's awfully shiny, though. No, we surprised. do like shiny stuff. I'm surprised you didn't get a big old run there and you just want to put that big muffler in the pocket. What? Did you get one? <laughs> Are you ready? Go ahead. Fire this girl up. Mufflers are for sissies. Turbo is a muffler. I better put it in neutral so it'll start. What's that? <laughs> Say goodbye to the environment! I done got it, bud. You ain't doing nothing. Big girl. Big girl. Tell her I got it. You ain't got nothing. Well, what do you think? I think the red's off about 18 shades, but nobody's gonna know. They're all gonna know. Oh, they're all gonna know. I think it turned out good. Yeah. I'm pretty pretty sure your little tailor's not doing anything over I'm there. Sure it is. Back I like the big red guy. Well, now we've got, which one's new? You can't tell. This one's all dirty. This one must be old, right? That's right. Well, what do you think, Uncle Scott? I think we should get the crane next. No. Yep. Oh. No. I see Kevin paint the top of that boom. You know what everybody wants to see you paint? What's that? The drag line. Okay. We're going to fix the flag. Plan. It's coming apart. <laughs> How are we going to get up here? I should have bought a main lift, too. You should have. Well, anyway, 
one set on that. 43 minutes. Is there? You got it scoped out? Yep. I need it at my house. That's a wrap on this, ain't it? Yeah. We're Pretty all lot. liking the little forklift. Love it. The big one's still doing the same thing it's always been doing. <laughs> it just looks pretty. It's heating up the environment just a little bit better now. But it's still smoking the same. Oh, oh log truck, it. get it! Oh yeah, watch it. Not my trailer. Oh, that was that was not that's epic. Pretty good. But no, that's a good old forklift for sure. That's why we spent some money on fixing it up. And uh, if you guys want to uh, see more action later on, you might consider subscribing because this thing's got some major issues. Ooh, That's why major. it's up in the air. Major, major issues. So, Ooh. got a video coming on that out on that later on. More logger stuff. So, you definitely have to subscribe so you can see that. What else? You gotta give us a thumbs up. Bam. And we got a super sweet giveaway coming for a hundred thousand. We just reached a hundred thousand subscribers, almost. Probably will by the time this video comes out. Okay. All right. We got something super sweet coming down the pipeline for that. Yeah. We can't Stay give out. Tuned. Yeah, we're doing a big giveaway, so you guys might have caught a glimpse of it in the shop today. Thugs! If anybody, was, if anybody was watching, they may have seen something in the shop that was a little different today. So, But guys, we appreciate each and every one of you watching, and we'll see you next time.